Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be dealing with a comment that I received um, and the comment's really a question. It's uh, sort of asking about the layer order and some people have run into difficulty with the layer order whilst following these tutorials and it's something that I probably should have gone over in a previous layers tutorial but I'm going to deal with it really quickly now. So layers in Photoshop as I've already said are like layers in a painting so you usually have your background at the bottom and then your foreground in the front. So for example if I create a new layer by pressing command or control on a Windows shift on a Windows computer shift N I'll create a new layer and I will call this layer background and as you can see it, uh, by default it appears at the top and if I was to change my foreground color to uh, black I can do that just by pressing D to switch to default colors which is black foreground and white background and I press U to bring up the uh, to bring up the square the square tool and I just draw a box over it you'll notice that of course it appears above the comment and the way to change this is just by dragging the comment up until you see the solid line appearing above the background layer or by dragging the background layer down until you see that solid line below the comment layer and of course so so this is uh, what happens when you do that it's often necessary to sort of reorder the stacking position of the layers and that's so you just so you control what layers appear in front of what other layers. Um, so as I've said, change the order, just click and drag and you'll notice that bar that appears as you move upwards and downwards and just release the mouse when you want to uh, when you want to release the layer in its current position. So that will work if we have more layers. For example, I could call this layer box and it appears by default on top of the layer that you've currently selected. So if I select, I've selected the background layer, and then I'll just do it again just to show you. So I'll press backspace to delete the layer. I'm clicking on the background layer, and I make a new layer, and I'll call this layer box, and it appears directly above the background layer. However, if I was to create the layer at the top, and then press X to shift these two colors around, and just create another box there, you'll notice that it appears at the top. But of course, I drag the box below the comments, and oh, I'm sorry. I actually drew the layer. I drew the box on the comment layer. But if I click on the box layer and draw the box there, um, and then I drag the box below the comment, you'll notice that the comment appears above it. So that's pretty much um, all there is. There's one other thing that we should go through, and that's just so just to clear everything up. And that is that you can actually merge layers. Um, so the the useful thing about merging layers is that it reduces your file size. However, um, when you do when you do merge layers, um, you'll notice that you can't actually edit them anymore. So, for example, if I was happy with this sort of ensemble of the comment and the box like this and this sort of elongated cross shape, I could highlight them both by command clicking on the layer that's not selected, and press Command E or Control E on a Mac on a Windows, and that will merge the layers. You notice that it merges the layers, um, and they've actually become one layer. But now, of course, I can't move the white box on its own. I have to move the layers as they appear. And of course, I can um, merge uh, the box with the background, and then I can still move the comment layer, but it will not change the background layers and the reason why this is done is it just it makes it can make the file size a lot smaller if you have fewer layers interacting but of course it reduces greatly your editing capacity and one other thing to note is that you can actually flatten all the layers into one uh, in one quick button by clicking layer flatten image so if you do this, um, all your layers will be changed into the default background layer, which uh, is locked. And to remove the lock, you just drag the lock into the bin, and then it no longer becomes a background layer. However, one thing to note is that um, if you if you look at the sort of the, the bounds of our editing box here, where the black ends, I can drag the comment layer outside of the box and just you know just show the bottom line and even if I merge it with the box layer um, into one layer it will remain the, the, the bit outside the black will remain however if I if I just remove all of that Mac and flatten the image with the comment box sort of outside the bounding area 
if I now layer flatten image um, and then remove the lock and move it till notice that it's actually cut off completely. So if you are going to flatten the image, make sure that everything is in place before you do so. So thank you very much. That concludes this really quick tutorial and I do hope that that clears things up. Until next time, bye bye.